Yo guys, it's Chris here, back to the video, and today uh, we're going to be uh, upgrading Jack Ultra Gamer's car, and as you see in the background, I actually made a vinyl for this car uh, on what his car should look like, so if you didn't see that, make sure you go see that, it's probably, it's the second to last video that I did on my channel, uh, gotta get all these Jack Ultra Gamer videos down now, but yeah, this is the car, I he said he likes the way it sounds. I really don't see him putting a V8 in there. Uh, the car is already good enough as it is. I don't think it needs that. So uh, we're going to keep this the way it is. And it's currently making 350 horsepower because uh, that's what the stock ones make. N more than likely, uh, why would he ever make it rear wheel drive? Probably not going to do that. So aero and appliances, uh, they don't have fours of bumpers in real life. Uh, they don't have fours of wings in real life, but I don't. I think there's there's nothing to do. He probably won't change the wing, or any uh, cosmetic stuff like that. Tires, you can bet he is. Uh, I would say sport tire, but uh, there's no other one of those. But this would kind of look like it. I mean, uh, we'll go for this since it gives the red color. So let's just say those are sports tires. Uh, those will come with bigger sizes. So let's go to 45. And maybe 255 in the back. <clears throat> uh, rims, probably big on the rims. You know, he'll probably want something cool. Uh, I'm not sure what his style is, but we'll see what looks good on this car. I kind of do like these, where they add weight. So I think he's gonna want to obviously have weight reduction. But I think this car would look good with the uh, bigger spokes or something. Uh, if that if you know what I mean like maybe that that looks good so let's just say he'll have that on there uh, rims you know you never know uh, clutch doesn't seem like something he would do uh, differential a lot of people weld their diff so we're gonna weld the diff there probably not gonna do anything about the drive line it's already fine uh, same with the transmission uh, let's say he's gonna get a shift knob so we'll put that at sport transmission Probably not gonna do anything to clutch there. Brakes. The car always needs brakes. This might be a little thing he'll do, so we'll put sport brakes on there. It also does the caliber. This car is already lowered, but we'll put it sport. Maybe he'll lower it just a tiny bit. Uh, roll bars. Um, let's just do that. I don't know. Roll bars are something that some people get. We'll get them in the back. Uh, I could see him getting roll bars in the back. I don't see him getting a roll cage, but I do see him maybe taking out the back tire or something. So we'll put that on there at a 85 weight reduction. And here's the big thing he said he wanted to do with this car. He said there's a lot of things to do. So intake, a lot of people will do that. So we'll go ahead and put that intake in there. Um, exhaust, uh, he loves the sound of the car, so why not amplify it? Uh, probably not going to change a whole lot of that let's uh let's put in the turbo he he said he's gonna get or he didn't say obviously but i think uh, that'd be something he'd get and obviously the turbo you'd have to get an intercooler and uh i don't he's already gonna have the intercooling uh but obviously uh since he's gonna have to deal with more horsepower i would say he's gonna uh get a better cooling system flywheel uh, probably not something he'd do here. So his car is going to go up from 350 horsepower to 433 horsepower. Now that is a pretty big jump for not doing an engine swap and just doing, you know, intake, upgrade your turbo a little bit, all that stuff because this car already has a turbo in it. Tuning, uh, he'll probably leave most of the stuff the same. Probably not going to get any of that done. Uh, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, the diff actually. Uh, have the open diff, so got to put that, that if he's going to weld it, it has to be open, so that's that, and now let's go and ahead and take this thing around for a test drive. So, uh, when I did, this is the third video about this car, uh, when I did the first attempt at, uh, like, getting the 0-60, to 60, it was pretty quick, so let's do that again. Just about at last time, it's a little bit quicker, but the last time I did this, it stopped at around 35 and got its way up there a little bit. This, 
basically stops itself at 36 and then gets it going. So I'm going to say, it was 4.1 seconds last time, I'm going to say like 3.6 or something like that, I'm not sure. Let's see, 3.7. Uh, so we're going to do just like last time, we're going to take a little cruise and then we're going to do that little drift zone up there. Uh, now that he has better tires on it though, but yeah, let's uh, hear some noise. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's do this drift zone breaks on point. So let's see how this drift zone does. I'm sure if he was drifting, he'd get drift tires though. But it's not that great. But hey, this car is also rally a little bit, so might as well. Uh, yeah. So if you guys did enjoy this video, share this to Jack Ultra Gamer. Tell them guys peace and about to Paul Walker. Here we go. Uh, just kidding. No Paul Walker today. Dang. <laughs>